Who is number one? Hey everybody, Bloodline. Mm. Had a little Kit Kat in my mouth. Tom Arnold is our guest tonight. Phone number one eight hundred L O V E one nine one. Oh, forget about that phone number. You get a lot of calls. Yeah, we man. get plenty of calls. Yeah, we get enough. L- uh, is that Loreen? Yes, it is. Hi, Loreen. You're twenty. What's up? Hey, well, I'm a phone actress. Mm-hmm. My problem is my callers are coming way too fast, and in order for me to make any kind of dough. I need to keep a seven-minute minimum with each caller. Oh so I God. need some advice, guys. What do guys like to hear on the phone? How can I keep these guys... Well, let, me, let me get this straight. You do... Are you hot, Daddy? <laughs> you, oh, I thought you were doing, like, Man of La Mancha and stuff over the phone for, like, people that were bedridden or something like that oh. who couldn't get to the theater. But you're just, you're just doing the sex talk, huh? Right. How do you describe yourself? Because I think they do a little too good a job sometimes. And it's like... I'm 5'9", I'm a 38 double D, I have... (laughs) Oh, no, I keep it real. I see I'm about 5'7", long dark hair, green eyes, 36C, 24-inch waist. Have you ever had a bachelor party and... Hold on. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Oh, hold on, we gotta go. Have you had a bachelor party and then someone described themselves like, I mean, honestly, over the phone, they said, this oh, yeah. woman is this way, and they get to the door, and you feel so bad for them right? because they do weigh 220 pounds. Listen, I was thinking about this the other day when I had a bunch of people waiting at an airport for me for a chartered plane that was like leaving, but not without me, and they said... They called me on my cell phone, and they were like, where are you? And I'm like, I'm just getting off on Sherman Way. I'm on the 405 as I'm basically going down my driveway. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, it's nice that you lie, but the fact that it takes you 25 minutes to get uh, a block and a half from where you said you were, like eventually, <laughs> yeah. like the stripper who says how right. hot she is, isn't isn't there going to yeah. come a time when the truth is revealed? Yeah. Yes, and and I I that's why you have to sort of it's good to build it up a little bit, but don't when you're still in your driveway, say you're down the street. Don't say right. you're you're coming up. So, Lorraine, yeah. you uh, you you describe yourself as is that what you are? Yes, I am. Okay, and and uh, what what do you do? Like, is is the talk? You saying the talk is like extra naughty, extra good? Like, talk to Tom. See if you can. Yeah, know. hi, hi. What do you mean? I'm sorry. Hi, uh, Tom here. Talk to me. <laughs> so what is Visa or MasterCard. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to keep these guys satisfied. I no, Lorraine, Tom, Tom's your client. I'm your yeah. client. Uh, okay, cool, cool. Go ahead. Hi. Uh, hi. Who's this? It's Tom. Hey, Tom. I'm Sugar. How you doing? Good, good, Sugar. What's going on? Oh, nothing much. Just relaxing a bit on my bed. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, boy. What are you doing? What do you do? You have the five hundred count, count uh, sheets, the thread count. Yeah, I, <laughs> I bet silky. <laughs> what are you wearing? This is Tom's friend Adam. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, what are you wearing? Oh, well, I'm wearing a tight little gray T-shirt. <laughs> oh, oh, I gotta go. Oh my God, and my nipples. Hey Tom, can you hard. move your car? It's blocking mine in the driveway. <laughs> oh man. Uh. Well, I say my nipples are a bit hard, and I'm wearing a black thong, and I'm touching myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that. that's sweet. Yeah. Well, listen. Why don't you? Why don't you sort of work? Like you know what you ought to do. What? Here's what you ought to do. Because you don't. You don't want to be too mundane, and you, you want to be sexual. But maybe if she did it in a sort of subliminal way, she could add a little time. Like like you go like. Which so is, the guy goes like. Favorite sports team. What are you wearing? No, no. She'll go like. I'm wearing a lacy black teddy Holocaust with a. <laughs> <laughs> Long Hitler. Cam- camisole, <laughs> yeah. cancer, and and, and, <laughs> and just see, like, see if you could slide in, like, cancer, Holocaust, grandparents, and see, see what you could do. Good. And I bet it would add some time. So, uh, the mind works. The mind is very interesting so that way. Subliminal foreign phone sex operator. Right, right. right. So, SNL ought to do this. Right, yeah. That's yeah. A, that, I think they did. That would, yeah, they did do it actually. <laughs> but I think that would work for her. Yeah, right, let's try that. Let's see, Loreen. Yes. Yeah. Why don't you try that? So, okay. so here's what you do. I ask you what you're wearing, and somewhere you work in Vietnam very quickly, <laughs> very quickly. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. And uh, what are you wearing, sugar? Oh, I'm wearing a nice lace garter. Mm-hmm. With a nice 
black lace bra. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. How's that? Yeah, but Vietnam. It was it was almost where, perfect. Where, where's the Vietnam part? You, you, you Vietnam. Got, <laughs> yeah. Okay, see, listen. <laughs> I, it's my fault for attempting to communicate you with really, people. That I was amazed show. that I thought that you had pulled that off with her. And she was like right on it. Yeah, but I, it was too good to be true. I know. Well, maybe, maybe she actually worked anyway. You just didn't notice it. Yeah, <laughs> I did notice my penis take a little dip in the middle of her description. You're, you're, you're. Interesting. <laughs> true. Well, I'm telling you. All right, I got to try one more time. Whether just L- Lorraine. Yeah. I'm here. Yeah. Okay. Let me explain. I have this subliminal suggestion <laughs> idea. Don't use that word. That's too. too I too have much. this quick word <laughs> thing that's going to hurt the guy's penises. Okay. Okay. Now, when you describe what you're wearing, mm-hmm. I want you to very quickly work in the word Holocaust. 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 Okay. Then give me these one. Cancer. Do you know what the Holocaust is? No, I don't. Oh, oh okay. Oh boy. All right. Okay. Oh. Boy. All right. That's all right. Hey, by the way, L.A. Unified Schools District, yeah. everybody. I'm a product. God bless you <laughs> guys. You're really, you're really doing, you're really doing <laughs> yeah. a job over there. So, do, subliminal, I Holocaust. Do. Okay, okay. Work in cancer. Oh, work in cancer. You know what cancer is? So oh, put great. That in. Okay, great. All right, work in the word cancer when you're describing <laughs> what you're wearing, all right? Oh, most definitely. All right, you ready? Bring. <laughs> Bring. Hi, how you doing? Ooh, hi, what's your name? I'm Sugar. Sugar, Who are you? I'm Ace. Hey, Ace. Yeah, what are you wearing? Ooh, well, I'm wearing a nice black garter. Mm-hmm. Ooh, just thinking about the Holocaust right now. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Burn those shoes. Cast them in the shower, baby. Yeah, yeah. I'm sending you my bill. Yeah, yeah. Send them, send them on the train to Krakow. Yeah. yeah. No, no. Lorraine, I, we may need to tweak this just a little bit more. I'm, <clears throat> this is. Uh, but that was good. Right, that right. No, good. you take direction as, as, as good as any actress I've worked with in this staff. It really is good. All right, Lorraine, that's your new angle. Yeah. <laughs> there, there it is. There she it should is. actually try that tonight. <laughs> I'm thinking about the whole <laughs> Perfectly normal, perfectly healthy. Yeah! It's time to check Adam's voicemail. Hi, how you doing? I'm Sugar. Hey, Ace. Mm. Well, I'm wearing a nice black garter. Just thinking about the Holocaust right now. You can leave us a message at 888-634-1744. Good time. KROQ. You listen to Kevin and Beach Show. Jesus. Come on. Burchard? No, it was Jimmy farting right on me. We have... We... Come on, he was sitting right there. This has been a nice yeah. show up until this point. I don't Why want do you, guys... you guys to miss me. <laughs> Jimmy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you honestly. <laughs> I'm going to tell you honestly, I'm really going to miss you. But really, you with about a fourth of the gas would be, would be perfect. They think uh, that thoughts are funny, but they're not. Right. <laughs> Please, oh, no more with that ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mr. Bertrand, yeah, how you doing? Don't worry about it. Anymore. I was doing fine until Jimmy <laughs> farted me up. This is the final hour of Jimmy <laughs> the Sports Guy. Got to go down to the... Uh, Coin up uh, the car wash and do off my right side now. Closer loaded, off. yeah. Now this might be an outstanding time to say that you're uh, you came onto the show as a re- direct result of Jimmy. You you helped him train for the Bleeda and Rosita all those years ago. Yeah, in mean, that boxing match well, that he had. That's why you know I come on here and I usually kid around. Right. I'm in a surly yet jovial mood, but uh, <laughs> right. today um, my heart is heavy. Is that right? Yeah. Wow. Well, you're taking this personally that Jimmy's leaving us after all this time, huh? That's right. No, you're... no my heart is just actually heavier <laughs> oh, than it was, you idiot. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, because of the cholesterol buildup. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> use a metaphor around here and you're too spin out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, could you play the goddamn uh, touching music? Well, you're in a foul mood. <laughs> Just want to get this over with. I'm scared be. I may break up halfway into it. How do you feel about Jimmy leaving our show to go do a TV show with that Adam Carolla whom you detest <sighs> so much? 
You know, he said he might be back in six months. Yeah. Right. I give it. Uh, I give it four months with the Corolla. <laughs> really? Yeah. You don't see him as having good any, looking. Any talent? <laughs> Hung like a black rhino, but no talent. No talent. Right. He skates on his looks. Yeah. So you <laughs> turn the sound down for a minute. You'll understand. I see. So you think that that man show is a downward spiral? There's no way it'll catch on. Yeah, unless they just put Corolla in some. Um, you know, uh, you know, uh, beefcake type roll. Take his shirt off, mince around right. a little bit, that kind of thing. You know, eye candy for the wow. ladies. I know you're going to be watching it and rooting for it to fail. <laughs> he was born in New York on a cool fall morn in between um, 1964 and 1971. <laughs> what? He's done the research, I can tell. <laughs> we didn't talk a lot about dates, and Jimmy and I. I see. Jimmy grew up fast and grew up hungry, hustling wiffle ball on the mean streets of Brooklyn. Jimmy chose sports to channel his creative energy, but with his talent and drive, Jimmy really could have excelled at almost any endeavor. He could have uh, done. He could have went in any direction professionally. I think you guys will agree with me on that point. From right. product testing for barbecue manufacturer, oh yeah, to novelty <laughs> porn, he really had range. That's true. He did have range. That's right. Jimmy's contributions to this morning show will not soon be forgotten, not only by the throngs of dedicated Kevin and Bean fans, but also by the people who were in the car with them at the time. <laughs> Because those who were forced yeah, to maybe listen. they want to listen to Mark and Brian, but right. you know, I heard Jimmy was all right. <laughs> Humanitarian, patriot, confidant, colleague, philanthropist. Jimmy's been many different things to many men, and quite possibly everything to one lucky prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> so many fond memories, so little time. Strip yeah. clubs in Seattle, Jimmy. Lighting farts in Vegas, <laughs> tucking our junk between our legs, and dancing in front of a full-length mirror in New York. Well, I don't remember that. You guys did that? Uh, we didn't talk about no. it? We didn't well, mention that. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, you're not coming back. <laughs> Jimmy's responsible uh, for not only uh, Big Tad's career, but as uh, Bean touched upon uh, earlier in the show, my career. That's right. And uh, not peripherally, directly. No, that's he true. directly got me into radio. And for that, uh, I owe him a debt I can never repay. So I'm not going to try. You know? <laughs> What's the point? I can't it's repay. It's why, why waste the energy? Hey, you move on. Life for the living. <laughs> Jimmy, it's been one hell of a ride, brother. But it's like my daddy once told me. No matter how sweet the hooker, eventually you got to roll over. <laughs> now hand wow. me my underpants. And tell your mom we went to the movies. <laughs> Good luck on Jamie Frosty and Frank. Jamie will be missed. <laughs> Thank that you, Mr. Nice. That was touching. Thank you, Mr. B. Appreciate that. Thank you, Jimmy. Good times.